Once you've developed your event, the next important thing is to sell tickets or give away tickets if you're not selling them. So you need to be able to promote it. So the first thing you need is a snappy description of what it is you're trying to do. I always try to link it to the theme, um, whether it's the death of Richard III or a heart attack or something. So just give an idea of what it is you're going to be investigating. So once you've got your snappy advert, then you need to get it out uh, to your potential audience. The best way I've found to um, publicise the event is to work with the venue that you're going to be doing your event at. So if you're working at a science museum or science centre or a big auditorium, talk to the people who run it and see if they will send out the advert to their distribution list. And it'll often be picked up by local listings papers. Uh, I've had one in The Spectator, something picked up by the BMJ. You never know who will see it. It's worth talking to your local newspaper particularly if it's an unusual event or if it's themed around something locally that they might be interested in. And if it's in your hospital, then you can use your hospital uh, newsletter. Your comms team will often be very happy to circulate it that way. Once you've done that, try thinking about social media, another great way to get your message out. So if you haven't got one, set up a Twitter account and start talking about your event on there. You can start to build up to it and then you can continue to use social media during and after your event. Uh, and to, to collect some feedback afterwards. So it's important that you have some hashtags. So I would always use hashtag living autopsy and then hashtag for your venue or for your theme or the festival or whatever it is that you're using. So make sure that you get it out there on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. So take lots of photographs if you can. And perhaps if you've got some photographs from a previous event, they will always be very popular and help to draw people in. Another way to promote your event is to register it with the Royal College of Pathologists. So you can go onto their website, give details of your event, and they will put it onto their programme, and then people can go on and see that it's there. If you do that, the college, you can also ask the college for some promotional materials. So they often have pens, fluffy bugs, post-it notes, and things like that. Um, and you can order some of those and then use those for your event, and they're always very popular. But the other thing I would say is that you probably don't need to try too hard to advertise your uh, living autopsy. They seem to um, really pique the public's imagination and they're always very keen to attend. So I tend to draw up a waiting list in case anybody drops out or if you manage to get a bigger venue. 